Yes, exciting indeed, Jamie. We came to where you left them last night, and there you can see Karula is standing waiting for us. She was just sitting on the side of the road, and she is calling quite a bit, so I think she's looking for the cubs. Now, interestingly enough, it looks like she's got a little gash under her eye. It doesn't look too bad, and it's all definitely is healing already, but she's got this little black line under her eye at the moment. She looks like one of those NFL footballers. She's got this kind of black marking rather than the normal white that you see. Now, she's going into quite a dense area, so we're going to try and step It would have been difficult with the roof in this area, but so sorry, I believe we had a bit of a break up there. It's, we are on Arethusa now, so sometimes the area that we're in, right up against these drainage lines, can sometimes be a little bit difficult with signal. But hopefully it will all be okay. But like I was saying, she's mobile through a thick area, so not having the roof is going to work in our favor here. Ah, there we go, there's another one. So there's one cub. Oh, it looks like Hosanna. I don't see any sign of Shungile just yet. But Hosanna is definitely there. You can see he's on the right of Karula there. And he's actually bigger than she is. When he stands up, he's taller there. Comes little Shungile now. Just a bit to your left, Craig. There we go, and we're going to get a meeting of all of them together. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So mom has obviously been out hunting, and the cubs have now been called. And I wonder if she maybe doesn't have a kill. It will be interesting to see where she goes now. But look at how they rub up on her just to reaffirm that bond. And typical Hosanna fashion, shoving his bum in his mom's face. That's how he likes to let mom know that he's happy to see her shame she gets a bit bullied by him these days because he's so big he's uh managing to push them around all right so i'm just going to let some of the other game drive vehicles know um i'm on time yeah don't seem to have comms with anybody else, but if you can just let everybody know uh, Karula and the two Cubs are mobile east at the moment, just south of Jay's link towards Triple M Gari Main Junction. Alright, so unfortunately it looks like they're about to cross into a property that we can't go into. So this is our southern boundary here. So we might have just bumped into them at the perfect time and I'm sure that she's Swapna, you're asking if I saw the wound on her neck. Yes, I did. I would imagine it's the same incident that caused the wound on her underneath her eye. Now, they don't look too fresh. There's definitely a little bit of sign of healing already. So maybe it's been in the last couple of days while they've been in Little Gauri. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's happened to her. I haven't heard of any fights. And there you can see Hosanna is actually scent marking, which is quite interesting now. Any other male that comes along here is going to not be that impressed that a young male is scent marking in their territory. So he's going to have to be a little bit careful. I think he'll still be lucky that mom is scent marking in that area. Now, like I say, they're busy crossing into an area that we can't drive in. But what I'm going to try to do is just go parallel with them and just see if they're not going to pop out back on our side. I have a sneaky feeling that they might have a kill somewhere close by here. Morning, Amant, how are you? Very well, sorry, but I'm branding you there. I'll speak to you now. But wherever they're going, Karula is on a serious mission. She's very mobile. I can see them just through here. So they're walking parallel with us, which is great news. And it looks like they're going to angle back towards this road. So it looks like they're going to pop out right in front of us, which is perfect. I'm just going to try and keep visual on them. So isn't this exciting? It's the first time I've actually seen all three of them together. Can you believe it? In the four weeks I've been with Safari Live, I've seen Karula and Shongile, I've seen Karula and Hosanna, I've seen Shongile and Hosanna, but never all three of them together. So I'm so excited to see all of them. They really are quite incredible. And especially now that they've gotten so big, it's 
seeing three leopards together like this is something quite amazing. She's definitely had a little altercation with somebody because that cut underneath her eye is quite obvious. She looks like a little bit like Mike Tyson at the moment, a big swollen eye, and I think she'll be perfectly fine. So, Michael, you want to know, is it possible that they had an altercation with Shadow last night? And if they came across Shadow's cubs unattended, what would they do? Well, it is very possible that they came across Shadow last night. The wound itself doesn't look like it's happened recently. I don't know if Jamie, when she saw her last night, if she had this cut underneath the eye. We'll have to ask Jamie just to confirm for us. But if she did have a fight with Shadow, I mean, it is possible she was in Shadow's territory. It could have been a multitude of other leopards as well. There's been lots of young females that have been around um, the Arethusa area. There's been that Ingrid Dam, young female, and I believe Jamie says she didn't actually see her face properly, but that looks to me like a wound that's not from today. But I would imagine if it was Shadow, there would be... Maybe that's why she's mobile so quickly away from this area. It could have been. Now, in terms of the cubs, if Karula have come across the cubs unattended, it's possible that she would have killed them. Um, I don't know. I've never really seen female cubs attacking little cubs. It is possible. You never know with these kind of animals. But I've never actually seen it personally where a cub gets attacked by another cub. So, uh, I mean, another female. It's normally the males that are the problem. Now, you can see she's actually going to the toilet there, and that's because she's got very full belly um, she's had a good meal in the last few days and so that's the consequences of that good meal you can't even go to the toilet in peace with cubs around by the looks of it but the cubs both look good and healthy so they didn't have an altercation with whatever Karula had an altercation with so so they are moving slowly but surely eastwards down the main road here. They're heading towards Shabam Road and Zoe's Road. So hopefully they're going to go up and into that area. So what I'm going to do is because there's some other commercial vehicles with us, I'm going to just pull over and let them get a chance. They've been sitting patiently behind us while Karula went to the loo. And the nice thing is that this is a really big open section. So what we can do is we can go up like Jamie did yesterday on the side and we can follow them and they can follow behind us and we won't have too many problems. But isn't that spectacular to see the three of them? You can see Karula's not limping in any way, so whoever she did have this little scrap with has not affected her. And it, like I said, those wounds are really superficial, so she's going to recover no problem from those wounds. So like I say, I'm just going to go up onto the verge here so that the vehicle behind us gets a chance to see them. Sweet history, you're wondering, oh, sorry, I got a bit sidetracked. The smell of leopard urine is in the air, and that smells like warm, buttery popcorn. And on a morning like this, it's actually quite a pleasant smell, funny enough. Um, you want to know how long it will take for these wounds to heal on a leopard. Well, there's a lot of factors that influence that. It's whether or not she's good at grooming herself and keeping the wound nice and clean. Um, but generally quite fast. You'd be very surprised to see how quickly these cats can heal. They are extremely resilient. And so I would imagine within a week or two, you'd hardly really notice that one on the neck particularly and the one underneath the eye, hmm, I don't know, maybe a little bit longer than that, but it really won't be too long until it's healed up and looks normal again. So unfortunately for a little bit, she's going to look like a bruiser, street bruiser, um, but it will, heal up. I just can't get over how big her sauna is. He's massive in comparison to her. Now, I checked all of this area this morning when we were looking for them and there was no sign of her walking this way. So often if they have a carcass, they'll walk back the way that they came from. And I didn't see any tracks. It was just the tracks from last night. So I wonder which way she came from. Shannon, you want to know if big cats will look after each other when they are sick and injured? Um, not really. It depends on how bad it is. I mean, I have seen with lions, injured animals that get to 
survive because the rest of the pride is catching food and that animal is able to get to the food and feed and be able to be um, get nutrients to, to start getting better but in terms of actually looking after them and babying them unless it's a mother with her cub then no not really um, I've never seen a pride of lions actively stay in one area for really extended periods of time and hunt and then not feed and wait for this injured animal to arrive before they feed I've never really seen that it's more a case of either you can keep up or you can't in leopards it's only time you're ever going to see a scenario like this where you've got three leopards together is when you have a mother with cubs. It's very seldom that leopards are going to walk around together as a group of adults. And so they normally on their own, which means nobody going to look at them but themselves. In terms of the cubs though, you will find that that female will probably stay very close and she'll make sure she catches food and gets that one to eat and gets the nutrients that it needs.